keep that handy dandy yellow reference sheet out, the front of it face up. Probably you want to keep it so you can see it. And all we're going to do from now on, Jordan, is what we've been doing, except you're going to hear me say, why? Convince me. Prove it. And what you need to train your brain is when you see the answer to ask, how do I know that that's true? You see the extra step, Devin? We're going from simply saying, here's the answer to saying, and this is why it's right. Shut up. Really, in a court of law. So, example one. It says, find the measure of each angle and give a reason. First of all, how big does angle one have to be? Jordan, I totally agree. Why? What I'd like you to do is find the word on your yellow sheet that describes that. Uh, I think there's a word that begins with the letter C that matches this diagram even more. Is there not? Right angle was the definition of the angle, but I think two angles that add to 90. What do we call that from the sheet? So if we were in a court of law, Taylor, it would go something like this. Jordan would have said 22 degrees. I would have said, objection, Your Honor, calls for speculation. And Jordan would have said, complimentary. And the judge would have said, objection overruled, because you've given me the evidence. This is the extra step, Corden. And do you have to memorize all the rules, Sydney? No, nope, you're going to not be allowed to have that sheet in front of you. But you got to know like where they are and how to find them. OK, angle three. How big? Marcus, objection, Your Honor, calls for speculation. Now, this one, you can either use that or you'll notice just underneath it, there's another rule called angles on a line. Now, I'm going to be really technical. Technically, you use angles on a line when it's three or four or five angles forming a straight line, and supplementary when there's only two angles forming a straight line. That's technically, Joe, I don't care. You can use either of those, and I'll figure out you clue in that it's a straight line that adds to 180. So you can either use supplementary or angles on a line. To me, they're interchangeable. My court of law is a little bit more lenient. Okay. Question seven. Angle C, F, okay. C, F, E. Okay, that's, uh, I'll, I'll mark mine up. You guys don't need to, but that's that one there. How big? No one. Sorry, I heard someone say it. 90, objection, Your Honor, calls for speculation. Convince me. I have no idea what you said. It is a right angle. I don't think that's the reason, though. By the way, 90 degrees and saying it's a right angle, here's what you're saying. It's 90 degrees because it's 90 degrees. Did you hear it? We have a special name for that. We call it circular reasoning. It's like saying, I'm stupid because I'm dumb. You're, you're, well, no, you're, you're not giving evidence. You're repeating your argument in a different form and hoping that I don't notice that you've done that. You've heard me actually confront kids. Why are you late? Because I just got here. That's saying I'm late because I'm late. Hear it? And you've seen kids do that. So I need a better, I'm going to say I agree with the 90. How did you know that was 90, Jordan? I don't think you looked here. Where did you look to figure out that this one had to be 90? This is 90, and what do these two form? Okay, what did we call two angles that formed a straight line? You know what? I'm going to argue that the rule that you used is... Supplementary. Is that okay, Emily? Okay. Next angle, C, F, D. That's that one. How big? Yep. Convince me. Objection, Your Honor. Calls for speculation. I don't see a rule on there called 35 minus 90 on the yellow sheet. So, sorry? Okay, so Taylor said, look, if this is 90, these two add to 90. And now we're going to abbreviate complementary as comp. We wrote it out the first time. Yes? 
you can abbreviate that as comp. There is another argument you could have made as well. You could have also said what, Marcus? You could also have said or sup or what was that one you said? Okay, ready? Angles on a line. And I'm saying you can't abbreviate these because it's lots of writing. The same way they do in a court of law. They don't tell you the whole case. They say, oh, in Johnson v. Smith. And you're supposed to look it up and clue in what it is. Either of those I would have to accept. And now we're getting into diagrams that are complicated enough, into arguments that are complicated enough that there's more than one reason. Best friends always, BFA. Is that, I know BFF is best friends, is BFA anything? No? Okay. You can use that now, best friends always. Uh, BFA, now that is uh, that one. How big? Yes, I know you know this and you're doing good. And thank you for raising your hand, but I want to get other people involved. Matt! Ah! I agree. No, wait a minute. Objection, Your Honor. Calls for speculation. Ah, okay. So here is where we saw the X, which I think is also on your sheet, uh, top right corner, if I'm remembering correct, or near the top right corner. Sorry. No, never mind. I gave you two columns. Uh, on the first half of the page, near the top right of the first half. It's there. You found it? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Matt, what did you say the rule was? What did you say the rule was? How about vert op? And I'll clue in that that's what you're talking about. By the way, I don't know if I've showed you how I remember that rule. Can you all look up for a second? Matt, what letter is that? What letter is that? What's the top half of the X look like? That's how I remember X, V, vertically opposite. Whatever works for you, but... I told you I sucked at geometry, and I had to come up with all sorts of stuff. This was one of them. You okay with this? Let's keep going. This is fun. We're arguing, but we're getting marks for arguing, which most teenagers don't normally do. Uh, B, F, B, F, C. That's uh, that guy. How big? Yeah. How'd you get 125? Vertically opposite. Let me see. So you said you looked at that and you added 90. You know what? I didn't even see that. I agree. That works. It's not the first one I would have spotted. I actually went, well, see, I, I trained myself. If I'm not sure what to do, always look at the previous question because often the previous question is what I need to find the next one. So I looked here and I said 50. Oh, uh, I also said or sup or angles on a line or Alex do we know this do we know this do we know this do we know this what's that add to okay where is that rule on the sheet can you find it what do we call that one? Find it on the yellow sheet somewhere. Okay, we're going to call that the course, the court case that we're going to refer to from now on, Aaron, for that one is or angles at a point. That means on a quiz, from now on, I'm going to ask you for the angle and for the reason. It's probably going to be a half mark and a half mark. But for this answer, Joe, I would take that or that or that. Now, did you hear me say to Alex, I didn't even think of that one. You guys heard me say that? On these quizzes, what I'm going to be doing afterwards all the time is saying, now, come lawyer with me. You may have seen one that I didn't see, and I might have marked it wrong, and you may actually say, no, I saw this, and it's not. Oh, I didn't see that, and you are right. So for this unit, when I hand stuff back, argue with me, because that's part of what we're also trying to practice, Jeremiah. It's the art of mathematics of logic and reasoning. Uh, Bifde. B, uh, BFD, B, oh, BFD, what angle is that? Uh, as a number, first of all, please. How many degrees? Okay, 180 degrees. 
What's that called on our court reference sheet? It's there. No, no, I think I think that I think this is is there not actually one of those on there somewhere? Oh, what? Straight. Is that what it says? Straight angle? There you go. There's our rule. So you should find this sheet handy. Let's do a few more. Turn the page. Okay, angle one, how big? Now, if you're stuck, where would I go looking to try and figure out how big angle one is? Joe, what's the only angle they gave me in this question? They gave me a one eight. What's the only angle they gave me in this? So you know what? Because I've told you, do these in order. If, if you're finding trouble with these now, I'm seeing some of you are seeing these right away. Great. You can probably drop your guard down and almost do them in any order. But if you're having trouble, I've said to you, do them in order because you can think like the test creator. I'm sure this 70 is going to tell me how big angle 1 is, and it's either going to be the same size or add to 180 because that's the only rules we've ever learned. Angle 1, how big? Uh-oh. Sorry? I heard somebody say E. and I 70, I agree. Objection, Your Honor. Culture speculation. How come? Ooh, she even found the rule. She said, Mr. Duick, when you have two parallel lines and a line cutting across, which you do have a picture of, yes, 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 yes. If you can slide one line, one angle like snakes and ladders along the line that's cutting across and they overlap perfectly, we call that... Can I abbreviate corresponding with C-O-R-R? -R? We're going to. Angle two, how big? Marcus, convince me. You see letter X. Yep. Angle three, how big? Jordan? Why? What's up? Or we said you could also call that angles on the line. I'll take that. Okay. Now, if somebody said to me, Joe, well, couldn't I use angles at a point add to 360? This is where I would say, since you don't know this angle yet, you can't use a rule that assumes that you know this angle to try and find another angle. So try not to add extra angles if you can avoid it. We want the cleanest case. We don't want a bunch of extra legal information that the judge doesn't need. It may be right, but if the judge doesn't need it, why confuse him? Does that make sense, Courtney? Let's keep going. Courtney, what's the only angle they gave me in question 10? So that angle 4, it's either 65, although they don't look the same size, or it's probably 180 minus 65. It's only the only two relations we have. I'm pretty sure it is. 115, what I'm really saying is, why? How come? Marcus. Uh, let's see. That would mean these two formed a letter Z, and I don't think they do. Matt. Okay. Now, you all have your reference sheet, yes? Yes. The one that I forgot to print into here. Give me one second here. Foundations of Math 11. My geometry reference sheet. Because we're gonna we're gonna hand ring else on this sheet. So you all want to get out that reference sheet for a second. And where it says interior angles on the same side of the transversal, we're gonna add two things. First of all, if you want the abbreviation, it was I A O T S S O T T I O T S O T first letter of each word. But a few years ago, after this handouts were made up, somebody came along in math in BC and said, 
you know, in Britain and in Europe, they use a shorter word for this. And people said, oh, they do? That would be great because I'm tired of writing interior angles on the same side of the transversal. So what I'd like you to write next to here if you want to is co interior. You can use that to describe this as well. Co dash interior. The only reason I don't like that is kids get alternate interior and co-interior and co-responding a little bit mixed up, but wait a minute. You got the pictures and the shapes in front of you. I'm going to say I think you can handle it okay. So back to our notes. Interior angles on the same side of the transverse. Coint or Iotsot, it's the same thing. In fact, it was the uh, letter C rule. Right? There's your capital letter C. They're Kangles. How big is angle five? Objection, Your Honor, calls for speculation. You're right. How come? What letter are you looking for alternate interior angles? Z, here's how I remember that these go together. Z is the last letter, A is the first letter. I kind of remember Z goes into the A, so I don't know, works for me. Zorro angles one year, my kids named them Zangles, I've had some kids call them, but alternate interior is the official court rule. Turn the page. Try 12 on your own. I'll do it up here. 12 is trickier. If you get stuck, you can always look up in a few seconds. I got these. Yes, no? Oh, I'm sorry, I hit the button, I thought. Let's try that again. I got those. No wonder you guys are waiting. By the way, Jordan, in situations where I'm giving two rules, you, you, you only have to use one of them. But what I'm saying is, oh, I take that, I take that. Now, this last one and this one, you might lawyer with me because there is another way to get angle three. Did anybody see the other the way to get angle three? What? There is a Z. So I would have to also accept on a quiz. Is there another way to get angle four that I haven't seen? No, I'm not really seeing anything there. Yep. Great question. Okay. No, no, no. It's a good question. What did you do? Did you get 110 or not? So, so first of all, here's what I said. I heard you say, did you say the one and the three? Yeah. What angle are you finding right now? No, no, you, you, what angle did you said you want, you asked me what angle two, didn't you? Oh, how did I get angle three, you asked? Yeah. I thought he asked me how did I get angle two. 
Sorry? Okay. So, two ways. Like that. See the Z? Or, X marks the spot. Just imagine that line's not there. And there you have to use your Sesame Street imagination, which means these two are the same angle. Vertically opposite. Okay? Let's try a couple more. Effective. A few more and we're done. How big is angle one, Boston? You might need your calculator for this one, unless you're good at arithmetic in your head. Is it 58? Could, yes? No? Yeah? 58? We're good with 58? Convince me. Okay, now what are we going to call that one? Can you find that rule on the gold sheet somewhere? I think it's right above where the triangles start. It's all on the front page right now. We haven't done anything from the back page yet. It's in small typing, I think, right above where the triangles start. I think, I hope, I think, I hope, I think. What's it say? Louder? I can't hear you. So here's how we're going to abbreviate that one. Angle sum of triangles. Sum, you're adding them up. The angles, triangles. Except we're not going to write that much. I'll, we'll write it out just this once in our notes. But we're actually going to write it this way. Angle sum of triangle. Shorter. Is that okay? So <clears throat> your court case that you referred to, Boston, is I know every triangle adds to 180. We're going to call that angle sum of triangles. Okay? <clears throat> angle four. How big? How big is angle four? 29? I think I agree. Yeah, I agree with Sam. 29. Convince me. More specific, what type of a triangle is this? I sock triangle. Now, the fancy word for this is angles opposite equal sides of an isosceles triangle are equal. We're using the properties of the isosceles triangle, and I think I gave you a picture of an isosceles triangle on your gold sheet, yes? And I listed the properties, yes? Yeah. Oh, wouldn't it be 34? I don't know. I wasn't doing the math. Is it 34? 180 minus 112, and then divide by 2, yes? You also did use angle sum of triangles, but really your final step was isosceles triangle. Having said that, Jeremiah, I would accept both rules. If you said to me, well, I used angle sum of triangles, I'd say, fair game. But most of you also would accept that isosceles triangle. So Alex, how big is angle five then? 146, convince me. What's up? Or angles on a line. Or... I guess you could argue, hey, this adds to 360, and this one here is 108. You could use angles at a point, but hopefully nobody would do that much extra work. I'm also trying to teach you, Emily, to be lazy and efficient. There are often longer ways to get this. Let's try and find a short way to get there. Last page. Does get in the hang of this a little bit? This is one extra step. We're saying, ask your brain how you know. All right, angle four. Now you'll notice they didn't give you any numbered angles here. There's no 30 degrees kicking out of you or 52 degrees kicking out of you. Angle four, how big? Jordan, 60, objection, Your Honor, calls for speculation. And you know what? If you look at the definition of the equilateral triangle on that gold sheet, yes, Joe, what does it say next to an equilateral triangle on the gold sheet now that you've got it right side up so you can read it? And? And? Does it say anything else? Okay. I think it says 
three sides equal three. What's this an abbreviation for? Okay, so read that too. That's the phrase I'm looking for, right? And if they're all equal, they each equal 60 because they've got to add to 180. So you know what? If you write equa triangle, equilateral triangle. Okay. How big is angle 5? Now, if you're not sure how the heck to find angle 5, what angle should you look at to, as, for a hint? I would look at angle 4, first of all. I would also look at any other numbered angles that they gave me, if there's like a 42 degrees kicking around somewhere. But I'm looking at angle 4. And when I do that, I'm going to argue, I think that makes the Zorro Zangle Z easier to see. Yes? How big is angle 5? What do we call the Z rule? Alt, int. Angle six, how big? Convince me, Alex. Angle, sum, triangle. You notice I even dropped the word of, a clue in. Okay? On a test, I probably include the word of, but. I'm just, what I'm trying to say is, can you defend your argument? Can you show me what your reasoning is? And for those of you who say, where am I going to use this stuff? This stuff, probably never. But arguing and trying to convince people that you're right, that's the skill we're practicing. Marcus, you going to make it? I'm not so sure. Ah! Nothing there? You know what? I missed you. I was aiming for you, and I aimed a little bit to the left there, didn't I? Because Danielle, boy, that got her attention. Sorry, Danielle. You know what? Next time I'll aim at Jordan. That should get Marcus square between the eyes. Last one. What's the great big shape that you have here? Circle. So here is Mr. Duick's uh, one of the many tricks. Courtney, if they ever give me a circle, did they give me a circle? If they ever give me a circle, I always find all the radiuses, all the radii, and I put equal hash marks on all of them. That's the same length as that, is the same length as that, is the same length as that. You know how I know, Jordan? Because the, like the definition of a radius was from the center of the circle to the edge. A circle is defined as all the same radius. You see, as soon as I do that, did you notice a whole bunch of isosceles triangles suddenly appeared? See them? So, Devin, they give you a circle, put hash marks on the radiuses. Okay, I'm going to use the proper math. On the radii. Radius is a radii. So, all right, how big is angle one? Matt, you're, I think you're right if I read your lips correctly. You are correct. Convince me. I saw triangle. How big is angle 2? Convince me. I saw triangle. Ah! How big is angle 3? Taylor. 110? Convince me. I think you went like this. These are all whoop. these are all angles at a point. You said those add to 360. So I think Taylor, you went 360 minus this angle, minus this angle. And then you said if the two remaining angles are the same size, what will I do with the degrees that I have left over? Yeah, and the geometry rule you started out using was angles at a point. I agree. Angles. Do we have an abbreviation in English for the word at? Yes, we do. I'll take that even. Angles at point. And you'll notice I didn't even write the word uh. So that's where we're going to be spending leading up to Christmas and after Christmas going over. Okay?
says, homework, work on finishing Geometry Package 1. Just so that I know, has anybody finished Geometry Package 1 yet? Just one person? Okay, I was going to... Uh, it says, once you finish Geometry Package 1, hand it in and start on Geometry Package number 2. I'm going to hand out Geometry Package number 2 on Thursday of next week. So if you're done, I'm not going to give you new homework, okay? The rest of you, you have the remainder of class. 